crazy if you think it ain't. They're going to challenge you sometime. Yes, they are. That's how you build muscle. Resistance. It's going to happen. But some of you are eating from so many tables. So it's just pure ridiculous. You're confused. Because you're running over here. You're running over there. Listening to this person. Listening to that person. And calling this person. Because for one, you don't want to submit yourself. Number two, you don't want to go in prayer and just hear from God to, and allow the Spirit of God to speak. Because for one, you don't want to obey the last thing God said. So you run and hoping somebody can make something easy for you. This ain't hocus pocus, baby. This ain't hocus pocus. And if you got any prophets or anybody that you giving into, Peter pop off all that kind of stuff like that, thinking you can just pay your way through, I need to bust your bubble on that too. It don't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. It doesn't. It doesn't work like that. You will have a special ear to who you are assigned to. And they will have your ear. Who you are assigned to. It's all about the hearing. It's all about the hearing. Please. It's all about the hearing. You will have a special ear for them. And they will have a special ear for you. You can walk in a room and hear their voice and know. That's Pastor Lee. It's Pastor Lee right there. Where is she at? She in here. How you know? Because I hear her. And Pastor Lee will hear your voice say, Hey, I know who that is right there. It's a special hearing that you have. And that voice can be a guiding light for you to lead you. Get yourselves in proper place, man. Do not play in this season. Do not put your mouth on men and women of God in this season, please. Let God deal with his folk. If you're sitting in a house and you know you're not right with that pastor, get that stuff right. Get that stuff right or get your butt on about your business. You need to get it right. You may still have to go because you may be called beyond now. But you still need to make sure that you get that right. Make sure that you get that right. Make sure that you get that right. Don't sit in somebody's house and don't like them and be disrespectful to them. And don't sit in somebody's house and not care about whether they house profit or not. Or whether it prosper. Don't do that. That speaks something about you. That tells about you. You wouldn't want me to come in your house and eat up all your groceries and all. And then turn around and leave and not show any appreciation when you had to work to get those groceries. Y'all stop that stuff in this season. Quit that stuff. Quit that stuff. That's a thieving mentality. That's a disrespectful mentality. Quit that. If you got a mindset that I ain't fixing to give nothing to this, uh-uh. I ain't finna put nothing in here and give nothing to this church. What you doing in there? Get out of there before you die. Quit. Quit. Stop it. Quit now. Stop it. Stop it. Quit. 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 Not this season. It's too dangerous to do it this season. Not this season. Y'all looking at what's going on in the natural world with all this politic and stuff. That ain't where the real war is. That's not where lives are going to be lost. That ain't where it's going to take place. God cleaning up his house is where you're going to see the, the lives being lost. Better hear what I'm saying to you. I tried to tell them that at Trim last year. That's where you're going to see it at. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his right way of doing things. And all these things shall be added unto you. All these things. I love y'all, man. I'm so serious. I love y'all. I'm so serious. Those of you that are called to my voice, please report to it. Those of you that are called to my voice, please report to it. If you're not, get to the voice you are called to. Because not everybody is called to my voice. Not everybody is. Those that are called to my voice, get to it. So we can do what we need to do. The work that we have to do. Let's get it done. Let's get it done, son. Let's go. If you are not, then I pray tonight for you. That you locate your voice. And you make the divine connection to your voice. So that you are able to prosper in the way that you need to. No more runaways. No more runaways is what I am decreeing and declaring. No more runaways. But that people find themselves in the right position, in the right place where you ought to be. Connected to the right people, the right person that you are to be connected to. I'm telling you hard as I can, spiritual connections are not like natural. Just because it's your mama, just because it's your daddy, that does not mean that you're a spiritual father or you're a spiritual mother. That is not, that doesn't mean that. Those that are called to my voice, make your way to it. If not, I pray you get to whose voice you are called to so that they can lead you so that they can help you and they can guide you. I am not one of those pastors that just want to fill up a place just so I can tell people and put it on the board. I got a bunch of members because you, 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 I don't even have members. I have partners. I couldn't find anywhere in the Bible where it was doing this member stuff, you know. I have partners because they assist in the work that's being done. So they are partners. Members won't do nothing but sit on your pew and give you a dollar or two. But a partner going to kick in. If something comes up short, a partner going to kick in because why they part in it, baby. They know if the ship sink, they sink, they sink too. I have partners. So, therefore, if I'm your voice, make your way. If not, I pray you find, you get to the voice that you are assigned to. I am not one that feels like, oh, I just got to have, you know, I got to have everybody. No, not even everybody that listens to me is assigned to me. Some folk listen to me just to see what I got to say so they can try to critique me. It's sad, but it's true. They hear what I have to say. Some people listen to what I have to say so they can get a message out of it because they know I'm going to come through with something potent. Because I'm a woman of the cloth, a woman of the word, and definitely a woman of prayer. So people listen for many reasons. But that doesn't always mean that they are assigned to my voice. But if you know you are assigned to the voice, get your butt in position. And get connected to the voice. You don't even have to be in the same town I'm in. For me to be your voice. Y'all better see what God is doing now. You see he's shutting them brick and mortar down. Don't you? This is done spiritually. This is not done naturally. 
This is done spiritually. This is done spiritually. Thank you, Rashawn. I love you. This is done spiritually. This is not done naturally. There is no distance in the spirit. There's distance in the natural, but there is no distance in the spirit. You could be in Zimbabwe, and I'm sitting right here in America, in Kinston, Alabama. And my spirit can say, hey, there's a lady in Zimbabwe in distress right now. I need you to intercede. And I go, who? She tell me about Nicolo Siba City. Ho, randa la la bandolo kumo sita. Eka, shontola la mandi hasia. Nelo bokuba. Eka, yande le kiso tulu boku manete. Hala bandolo kuse. Shoto baba andele le kuma sata. Mola lo bokuba yala la sita. Eto lo kusi tulu mandi ake. Nete le ki asondo hoko masa. Me ko randa la bande le ke. E ko su motita. Nala la kande le le ko so to ba she. See, spirit realm. Spirit realm. Shut down a device and an attack of the enemy. But if you see it through the natural realm and think I gotta be there. Then you thought I had to get in a flight and fly all the way to Zimbabwe. And a woman could have been dead by the time I got there. Because that's a long flight. See, it's spirit. It's spirit, y'all. It's spirit. Stop trying to make God a natural man. It's spirit. It's spirit. It is a spirit. Stop trying to make God a natural man. All those that are assigned to my voice report. Front and center. Report. I'm summonsing you in the spirit. I'm summonsing you in the spirit. That you report. So that you are able to get to your next place. Your next place. That will include a move. Even a geographical move. Some of them will be geographical moves. Some of them you will just move in the spirit. But report. Front and center. Father, I love you tonight and I thank you for your word that I've released unto your people. I thank you and I pray that they have heard. I pray that they will yield and I pray that they will submit. I take no glory in none of this. Oh no, I'm just an humble, obedient servant. That's all I am. This is not about me gathering people. I don't even really like to deal with people in that aspect, and you know that. So this is about me being obedient to do what it is that you have assigned me to do in this earth. I will carry out your will before I deny your will. I will alter my self-preservation, and I will alter my, my part of me that is an introvert. I will alter that just to become someone for your people, to do what you want me to do for your people. And so I pray tonight that you would align your people, set them in the places where they need to be to make the divine connections that they need to make. That they would get out of the natural man and thinking that they can control and dictate what you do and how you do it and who you do it through. But yet find themselves in a place of submission unto you so that you can lead and guide them down the path of righteousness for your name's sake. These are the things that I ask. And I ask that you do them in your son's name, in the greatest name that there ever is and there ever will be, the name which is above every name, the name to which every knee gonna bow, and every tongue gonna confess that he's Lord. That name, Yeshua, Jesus, that name, that name, that name, that great name, the I am, that I am, that name right there. I ask that it is done in that name in power, in power. I ask that it is got to be done in power and in demonstration. Let eyes become open and ears become unclogged and hearts to receive and to feel the flow of love as it goes through on tonight. 
That is what I thank you for. Hashulabai.